I just got this new DeWalt saw, battery operated, top of the line. This just happens to be a bunch of titanium. Got a paintball face mask on, just in case. This was my first cut on the saw. It is titanium. Um, I broke off two teeth of the stock uh, steel blade that comes with the saw. Um, yeah, they, they're... Um, Oh, what's the word? <laughs> Brazed on. Yeah, so some hardened steel um, cutters are brazed onto the blade. And uh, broke the braze because I just went a little too quick with my uh, depth of cut. And now I am not going to hold the piece. I set up this thing here. And, you know, filming this is a bad idea because it takes concentration away from what I'm doing but I guess at least proves that I'm not using a hand to hold the workpiece and I'm going to uh, try and cut it here make sure I got a good focus going wearing gloves too doesn't work with a smartphone that great rest my hand on this uh, tool holder Work piece holder. Hey, face mask off. Let's check it out. Get the focus on there. So obviously that did work out okay. You can see some of the cut surface there. This is a very special piece of titanium. Made for uh, medical applications. Specifically bone screws, which is why it's got the hole in the middle. But they also work out awesome for making uh, your own bolts even lighter if you don't need the bolt to seal anything, having less weight in there. And also drilling titanium is so much easier or even doable if you already have a small hole drilled. Drilling your first small holes I find to be the hardest part of the matter. So there you go. Um, the first of many to come videos on unconventional uses of not only this saw but other equipment. I've always been unconventional with my approaches to things generally because I haven't been able to afford uh, various things that I've wanted to do and the space and tools required getting uh, kicked out of places for working on my car etc and now I uh, have some credibility finally after getting my mechanical engineering degree and now I uh, I'm able to start doing more things and have some information uh, backing up what I'm doing just a couple sneak peeks this is my CNC router that I've uh, built and then working on. This is a new old lathe that I just got. Here's a bunch of stock metal including a crap ton of titanium right there. It's more than you might think. Um, and other pieces with which to use and as any projects come up. I don't like running to the store for every little thing that I need to do. Yep, some 
some welders. But this saw has been something I've wanted for a long time. So, battery operated. Most adjustable, versatile saw. Yeah, so we'll see what we can put in there. What kind of projects we can do. Um, from composite blades to seeing how much you can get out of uh, just conventional wood cutting metal blades like this. I can already tell that the uh, you know um, blades intended for cutting steel for example um, are not meant to run at the 3800 rpm this saw runs at. They exist they're very expensive and they're meant to go at 1500 rpm but as I know everything is relative as far as cutting metals there's uh, multiple aspects to the equation and it, R rpm is not the only one CNC routers prove that they run way faster than most people would think is uh, viable for cutting metal and yet it works for a lot of applications. A little uh, secret awesome thing I've got going that I love here is my collection of tungsten carbide end mills. Most of them are the titanium aluminum nitride coated tungsten carbide end mills. Even used as all those are, they're still very viable for making a lot of awesome things. But yeah, I, I intend to use this saw for easily the next 20 years. I don't see why not. I can run on AC, DC, battery power, take it anywhere. These batteries are only going to come out in higher capacity. I can already take those apart and rebuild them. See those screws on the top right there? Yeah, you can undo those, take out the 18650 battery cells, replace them, and let's see, do I know what I'm talking about at all? Is there any light in here? Can you see these? This is a giant box of 18650 batteries, the same that Teslas use to build their battery packs, the same that all lithium ion power tools use to make up the battery packs. I plan to make a uh, DIY power wall. Um, with these. There's a couple boxes here that are also full of those that I've uh, uh, saved in the whole recycle, reduce, reuse. I am uh, taking batteries that are considered dead, which are not actually dead. Some are. You know, um, laptop batteries are actually programmed to fail after a certain number of charge and use cycles and the cells themselves might be totally good still as often is the case or if one is bad in a series arrangement all are considered bad when each individually they might not be so anyway 18650 battery size because um, you know that's just diameter and length in millimeters to make up that name um, Actually, I don't know where you get the zero at the end because it's 18 diameter by uh, 65 length. Anyway, um, naming of things, marketing, bane of existence. Yeah, so anyway, this is very versatile and uh, enables me a lot with future projects without having the cord. And that these same batteries can power all my other Walt power tools for whatever kind of projects. Awesome.